Hi guys, so I have a customer with the 2005 Monaco Executive. She's had a lot of battery issues and uh, did a lot of work herself and just asked me to come take a look at things, what's going on. Uh, the long and short of it is she's replaced her charge solenoid, which actually is her uh, auxiliary start solenoid in the back, and her battery control board. So Monaco's from about 2004 to about, we'll call it 2010, used a um, Intellitech battery control board. You can kind of see the part number here, uh, 73-00824. You notice it says BCC slash BIRD. BCC's battery control board. BIRD is a bi-directional isolated relay delay. All that means is this has a logic within it. So if the chassis batteries are charging, It'll engage the charge solenoid to charge the house batteries. And if the house batteries are charging, it'll engage the charge solenoid to charge the chassis batteries when you're plugged in. It's also got the logic so that if the other batteries are taking too much charge away, it'll disengage that charge solenoid. So this is what the old board looks like. The new board, let's see, this, this connector right here is a seven pin connector. So there's two more uh, ports on there. And you have to hook up the last port to ground or else that bird doesn't work correctly. So that was also an issue she was having. So, I'm sure you can't hear me. This is supposed to be a charge solenoid, but even though it looks identical to the one that's supposed to be on there, this is a latching charge solenoid, big boy. What should be here is this guy right here. Like I said, it looks identical. But this doesn't latch, it's continuous duty. So that's the uh, battery control board right there. The ISO, that's isolator relay, that's isolator relay. So the green light isn't on because it's not activating this. But if I were to go get voltage off of it right here. So there's 13 volts there. That should be on the uh, chassis side. If I go to the house side here. Look at that, it's 13. This is in the locked position or latch position, so those batteries are always stuck together. So really there's only one set of batteries on this right now, so I have to change it from a latching one to an unlatching or a continuous duty one. All right, so there's a new one installed. So this is a house battery. This is chassis battery. So now if I check the voltage on it, 13.34, we go down to the battery. Actually here, this is a chassis battery. Look at that, 13.34. Now if we go to the house side, that's 12.9, so 13. So it's, it is disconnected now, just like it's supposed to. So this is the uh, charge solenoid where the engine charges the house battery or the house charges the engine battery, depending on what the battery board tells it to do. On the dash, this is also known as a battery boost or emergency start. That's where the two batteries will join together. So we're back to that being correct. So this doesn't latch. So, if I were to push this button right here, it's just like pushing the battery boost at the uh, dash. Green light turns on, and it activates that guy, and it should deactivate. The other one would latch and be stuck in the closed position. You'd have to activate it with reverse polarity to unlatch it. This is not set up to reverse polarity, just to, just apply power or, dis or uh, remove power. So that's why we need a non-latching uh, relay, solenoid, whatever you want to call it. They call it a battery isolator relay. Which is weird because they call it a isolator relay here. Weird. All right, so now I have a ground wire. I just found a plug that would actually work in there. <laughs> so it's kind of hacked to make it work unless you get the replacement correct plug right here. Uh, it just runs to a ground right here. And you can see that green light is on because this is now charging. Try this one-handed one more time. All right, see if I can short it out again. We're just plugged in right now. Yeah, 
14.4 on the engine battery. Shouldn't have to go to the house at this point because engine's not running. It's pretty obvious. So let's see. 14.4.5. So it's doing its job now. And if we were to uh, disconnect power, it'll. Um, It'll still energize us for about another five to ten minutes and then it'll finally drop out. You'll hear it clonk out. Well, so there it is, guys. I think we got it all done. Uh, just had to change out from that latching big boy solenoid to a non-latching big boy solenoid. Uh, I've actually run into that myself. I didn't know any better. And I couldn't figure out why the, the battery uh, charge, wasn't, uh, charge solenoid wasn't disengaging. It's because it was the wrong one. Uh, those are pretty spindy guys, so you don't want to get those wrong. Uh, and of course, not everybody knows about that uh, ground that has to be ran to that battery control module or battery control board. At any rate, hope that helps somebody. Bye. Because those two uh, batteries are actually linked together. At any rate...